Have you ever questioned why fear holds such a powerful grip over us? Fear, this primal instinct, is a double-edged sword. It safeguards us from danger, yet it also hampers us, keeps us tethered, preventing us from reaching our full potential. We're often ensnared in its grasp, frozen by what-ifs and maybes. Now imagine courage, that bold, brave force within us waiting to be unleashed. It's the antidote, the liberator from fear's shackles. But what if we could harness the power of courage to conquer our fears? Imagine a climber perched on the edge of a towering cliff paralyzed by fear. Meet our protagonist, a man whose heart beats for the thrill of climbing yet is shackled by a fear of heights. A paradox, you might say. But isn't life filled with such contradictions? Our climber, despite his fear, felt an inexplicable pull towards the mountains. The raw beauty of nature, the exhilaration of ascent, and the humbling majesty of the peaks, they all called out to him, stirring a passion within him that was stronger than his fear. He had always been a climber, from his earliest memories of clambering up trees in his childhood to his first encounter with a rock wall. He loved the challenge, the strength and precision it demanded, the feeling of being one with the element. But as his passion grew, so did his fear. Every time he looked down from a height, his heart would pound like a drum in his chest, his palms would sweat and his legs would shake. It was as if his body was in a constant battle with his spirit, but he did not let his fear define him. He believed in himself, in his ability to overcome his fear. He focused not on the vast expanse beneath him, but on the rock in front of him on the next grip, the next step. He practiced, he fell, he picked himself up and he climbed again. His journey was not easy, it was filled with moments of doubt and despair, but he pressed on. His love for climbing was his guiding light, his beacon in the darkness of fear, and then there was his faith. He believed in a higher power, a divine presence that watched over him, that gave him strength. He prayed before every climb, seeking guidance, seeking courage. His faith was his anchor, grounding him in the face of his fear. And so the climber, once paralyzed by fear, found the courage to climb, not because his fear disappeared but because his belief was stronger. The climber's story isn't just about overcoming a physical fear, it's about the power of belief and faith. In life, we often encounter mountains that seem insurmountable. But what if we told you the power to conquer these mountains lies within you? Yes, it lies in your belief in yourself and your faith. Belief is that innate conviction, that unwavering trust in your abilities. It's the voice inside you that says, yes, I can. And then there's faith. Faith is like a beacon in the darkness, guiding us when all else seems lost. It's the assurance that even in the face of the unknown, we are not alone. That there is a greater force, a divine power that is with us, supporting us, guiding us. Together, Belief and faith form an invincible force. They empower us to face our fears, to step into the unknown, and to conquer the mountains in our paths. With belief and faith we can summon the courage to conquer our fears. So, can we choose courage over fear, just like the climber? Yes, we absolutely can. Picture this. You stand at the foot of your own mountain, your own challenge. It's not a physical mountain, but one built from your fears, doubts, and insecurities. It looks insurmountable, doesn't it? Yet within you lies a force more powerful than any fear. That force is courage. Courage is not the absence of fear, rather it is the decision to face fear head on. It is the spark that pushes you to take one step, then another, and another, until you find yourself standing at the top of your mountain, victorious. We all have this capacity for courage. It's not reserved for the select few or the extraordinary. It is a fundamental part of your human spirit. It is within reach if you choose to harness it. Courage is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. And just like any muscle, it needs to be exercised. So confront your fears, tackle your challenges, step out of your comfort zone. Each time you do, you are exercising your courage, making it stronger, more resilient. Remember, fear may be powerful, but the courage to face it is within you. Don't be afraid, for he is with you. Before we wrap up, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. What is your mountain? What challenge stands before you, seeming insurmountable? Is it a strained relationship? A goal you've been too afraid to chase? A dream you've been too hesitant to pursue? Whatever it is, remember the power of courage. Remember the climber. Remember that the same force that pushed him to conquer his fears and reach the summit is within you too. Now imagine standing at the top of your mountain, victorious. How does it feel? That's the power of courage. It's 
not just about overcoming fear, it's about the transformation that comes when you do. It's about the person you become. It's about the faith you build. So, as we conclude today's video, I challenge you to exercise your courage. Take one step towards your mountain, then another and another. With each step, your courage will grow stronger, your faith will grow deeper, and you will find yourself closer to the top of your mountain, closer to victory. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. He is with you. He is your strength, your guide, your courage. So face your mountain, exercise your courage, and see where it takes you. Thanks for tuning into the worship experience. Until next time, stay blessed and keep praying.